Seems a little hot for a sweatshirt, but that's pretty nice. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your pal Josh Froman here with another episode of uh, Dude Brew Hat. And uh, tonight we're uh, gonna try, uh, you know, something for the summertime. Uh, it's something from uh, frickin' Taxman. It's their uh, Blood Orange Gold Standard. I don't think I've ever had just their Gold Standard, but now I'm gonna have it Blood Orange style. It's a Belgian style blonde ale with fruit. Uh, it gets right to it. Uh, this particular one is 6.2%, IBU of 20, and uh, Belgian inspired, American crafted. So yeah, I've uh, tried a few other Blood Orange beers recently. Uh, one with my pal Danny Stringer Marquis and uh, with Harlow Santana. And uh, big hit. Uh, what is that? That uh, something day, three day, eight day Ray, three day Ray. It's uh, got Ray and day in, it, in a number. But that, uh, that's who it is. And he also does a pretty good uh, peanut butter stuff. So uh, without further ado, uh, like I've said before, um, uh, you guys get this started here with a clean glass. A ding! And uh, it's now time for us to uh, crack of uh, that brew. <clears throat> oh yeah, it is the perfect day for this. I tell you, it is a lake in the sky right now. The humidity is up and I believe it was around 92 degrees today. Oh yeah, look at the color of that. It's definitely uh, orange, uh, hence the name. And uh, I'm loving it. It looks, ha looks hazy like an IPA, but uh, in this particular case, it is a, it is a Belgian ale. Mm. It's uh, got more of a sour uh, notes to it than the other uh, blood orange I tried. Not as sweet. Definitely smooth and uh, refreshing, although it does have more of a sour finish to it. So if you like sour beers, uh, this is definitely up your alley. Uh, but uh, I'm not hating it. I would, uh, I could sit and drink two of these, maybe three of these, um, and enjoy them pretty well. I put this at about a, let's give it a 3.9 brews out of five. How's that sound? So there you have it. A uh, quick review on the uh, freaking Blood Orange Gold Standard uh, Taxman uh, freaking uh, deal here. I'm uh, just sitting here on the back porch, hanging out in the heat. Maybe I'll go inside in a little bit. Who knows? But until then, uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, I'm Josh Froman. Out. It doesn't disappoint. Now, I already did my quick uh, little review on here, which uh, the people have already seen. Um, I, I was comparing it. We've had that other blood orange that was a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. I do like the blood orange um, concept. Yes. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a go-to um, beer for sure. It's a little more refreshing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, and, they, and uh, that's because we've had the beer mosas, and those are pretty good. Normally, beer. I don't like orange beers, but... Blood orange, I am um, all in. Well, our least favorite of the Bud Light uh, fruit flavors was the orange. Mm. So it all kind of comes full Agreed. circle. Because that kind of tastes more fake orange. Yeah, this maybe is, that's what it is. I think this has got more of a sour finish. Mm. And then the, uh, was it Four Day Ray? Three Day Ray? Whatever the name of the other, uh, I can't remember the name of that beer, but they did a peanut butter. That was pretty good. But they got a little more sweetness on their brews. So, uh, very I like good. that too, but uh, oh no, out of, one out of five, what are you going to give this? I'll give it, um, it's one of my favorites, so for sure a 4.5. Wow, nice, very nice. You heard it here first, folks. Well, uh, thanks for uh, joining mm -hmm. me for this uh, quick beer on the on the porch and being like a special guest and stuff. Thanks, thanks right. for having me. All right, well, uh, Josh and Alicia, <laughs> out.